a very good morning dear students welcome to the next session of english students in our previous session we started with the recapitulation of all the grammar topics done so far Yes we did it through an assignment that was part 1 of revision assignment Today we will do a recap of the topics that we didn't cover yesterday and it will be followed by part 2 of revision assignment my dear children please be attentive during these sessions as you know revision goes a long way in the application of the learned concepts so without any further delay let's begin our first topic of today that is nouns gender i hope children you remember that we learned the categorization of nouns according to gender Yes what are the four categories Right The four categories are masculine gender feminine gender third one is common gender and yes the last but not the least the fourth category is neuter gender nouns let's have a quick look at all of them masculine gender the first category is masculine gender it denotes all those of the male kind yes all the males are included in masculine gender let's have a look at some examples boy boy is a masculine gender noun then man a boy grows up to be a man yes again man is a masculine gender noun then father father and son both are masculine gender nouns then grandfather grandfather is also masculine gender noun king again king is a masculine gender noun moving on next the second category is feminine gender nouns all those of the female kind are feminine gender nouns let's have a look at a few examples queen queen feminine gender then we can say see a nun praying again a nun is a feminine gender noun which she is a feminine gender noun then seamstress like we have tailor in the same way we have seamstress so seamstress is also a feminine gender noun now children this was about human beings then if we come to animals you the female of a 
शीप इज कॉल्ड अ यू इज अ फेमिन जेंडर नाउ द नैनी गोट इज द फेमिन जेंडर ऑफ अ गोट बी अगैन दिस इज अ फेमिन जेंडर एंड सो अ फेमिन जेंडर ऑफ पेग Yes hope you remember all this we have done all this earlier let's move on further the third category of nouns is common gender nouns common gender means common gender means if you speak out that name you cannot judge if it is a masculine noun or a feminine noun that means the nouns that belong to both the categories that is that are used for both masculine as well as feminine genders they are called common gender nouns for example child now a child can be a male child as well as a female child just by the word child we cannot judge what is it a male or a female next example student again student is a common gender noun a student can be a boy or a girl spouse spouse again is a common gender noun spouse means the husband or wife the partner so a common gender noun friend again friend is a common gender noun can be masculine or feminine let's move on the fourth category is neuter gender nouns Yes you must have guessed through the examples non living things come under the category of neuter nouns for example a table a ship and car they are all neuter gender nouns let's move on now children this was about understanding the four genders now children we need to learn the opposite gender also like for gender in people uncle is the masculine gender you can see and aunt is a feminine gender noun then bridegroom is the masculine gender and bride is a feminine gender noun the way we have gender in people in the same way gender in animals is also they are also there so children if you are talking about lions you can call a male a lion but a female would be called a lioness yes we can see a lion and a lioness over here so gender in animals lion for masculine gender lioness for feminine gender similarly peacock masculine gender and peahen feminine gender now children we learn certain rules for conversion of masculine to feminine like we add e double s in some of the cases like lion lioness similarly hunter huntress e double s is added but in this case e would go away and in place of e h u n t r e double s would be the spellings of huntress so children i hope you are clear and in fact refreshed 
these all details must have refreshed the concepts of gender in your mind so let's begin with the revision assignment students today we'll take up one topic then questions related to that in the revision assignment then we'll have a small recap of the next topic then questions related to that topic and likewise okay so we have done uh, nouns gender let's see a few questions from the revision assignment are you ready ready set go so these all little children are also ready so let's see the first question the first question says change the gender of the underlined nouns in the following sentences so few sentences would be given to you and you have to change the gender of the underlined word children can you see some opposite gender over here also yes a boy and a girl and you know this has been kept purposely for this okay so the first is first question is my brother works as a waiter so what are the two underlined words brother and waiter so what is the opposite gender of brother yes i hope it is easy for you you must have been using this word very commonly at your home brother the opposite gender is very good sister and waiter what is the opposite gender of waiter yes we have to add e double s and this extra this e would go away so the sentence would become or the answer would be my sister works as a waitress children be careful about the spellings like the spellings of waiter is w a i t e r and waitress is w a i t r e double -S, s hope it was easy for you children while you are watching this uh, video do keep on writing your answers only the answers in some of your rough notebooks so that you know that you actually know the answers i am yes i am going to share all the answers with you but you also be ready with your answers right let's see the next question the emperor was a kind man now emperor who is an emperor yes king so what would be the opposite gender of emperor be ready and write it and also write the opposite gender of man it is easy hope you have written so the opposite gender of emperor is empress e double s we have added of course the spellings would change and man very easy so the empress was a kind woman hope you could do it let's see the next question a cock was chased by a fox now children first of all you have to see what is the opposite gender of cock and then opposite gender of fox yes i'm giving you time to write your answer yes it is very easy hope you have written it it's just a three lettered word and fox the opposite gender again a small five letter word yes let's come up with the answer 
Opposite gender of cock is hen and opposite gender of fox is vixen. So a hen was chased by a vixen. Hope you could do it. Let's see the next question. Yes. The daughter is more talkative than the mother. Yes. Opposite gender of daughter. Again I am telling. While you are writing your answers in draft notebook. You don't need to write the entire sentence. Just write the opposite gender of the underlined words. Again, a three-lettered word. Daughter, opposite gender. And mother, opposite gender. Again, a very commonly used word. Yes, the opposite gender of daughter is son. The son is more talkative than the father. Let's move on to the next question. The goose ran quickly, ran away quickly. Yes, only one word you have to write. Opposite gender of goose. So what is the opposite gender of goose? Yes. Hope you have written. In this you have to be very careful because children get confused in the opposite gender and plural noun. So just write the opposite gender. Right? So the opposite gender of goose is gander. The gander ran away quickly. And those who have written geese because geese is a word that strikes our mind immediately. So that is wrong because that is the plural of goose. Okay? Hope plurals also you remember. If not, we'll do a quick recap of plurals now because we'll, after that we'll move to the next question. With that question 1 finishes. So singular and plural. Singular, my dear children, hope you remember, means one and plural, many or you can say more than one. So singular nouns and plural nouns. A singular noun names one thing and a plural noun names more than one thing. That's what I told you just now. Yes, we learned some of the rules. Quickly, we'll have a glance at those rules. Because what we need to do is, we generally need to change the singular noun to plural noun or vice versa. Or a plural noun to a singular noun. In that case, we need to learn certain rules. I've kept them all on a slide with a purpose that... All the rules are clear to you in one go because this is just a recap. In detail, we have already done. So, add generally, what do we do? The first rule says we add S to form the plural of most nouns. For example, dog becomes dogs. The plural of dog is dogs. Similarly, Plural of computer is computers. So we add S to form the plural. In case the words end in S, X, Z, CH or SH, we add ES. For example, fox, foxes, ES is added. Branch, branches, again we have added ES. So that was the second rule. The third rule says, if a word ends in Y, then change the Y to I and add ES. 
So in short we add, we cut off this last Y and add IES. Like baby becomes babies, B-A-B-I-E-S. Similarly, puppy becomes puppies. So that was the third rule. Children, this is a recap. We have learnt all this earlier. The next rule says, if a word ends in F or F-E, we change F to V and add ES. For example, knife, knives, hoof, hooves. So we have cut this F or FE and we have added VES. Yes, there are lots of rules, but yes, they are easy with practice. Now, if a word ends in Y, here also we learnt that if a word ends in Y, but if a word ends in Y and has a vowel before it, that means the second last alphabet is a vowel. Like in donkey, E is there. So we just, we don't add IES, we just add S to make the plural. For example, boy, boys, donkey, donkey, similarly Toy, toys, there can be many examples. Now, if there is a word that ends in a consonant before an O, we add ES, like potato, potatoes, tomato, tomatoes. So, consonant, consonant means other than the alphabets, other than the letters, other than vowels are consonants. So now, next rule says that there are certain nouns that don't change when they become plural. That means the singular as well as the plural form is same for such nouns. For example, sheep remains sheep in plural as well as singular form. Deer also remains deer. In this rule, rule 8 says that some nouns have a spelling change or they have a new spelling when they become plural for example mouse mice child children like that and there are lots lot of more examples hope the rules are clear to you now keeping these rules in mind let's do question number two it says Children, you are doing such a question for the first time, so be careful because it's a revision assignment. I have put up this question. Spot the mistakes in the use of plural nouns of the given sentences and rewrite them correctly. Children, now what you have to do is Till now you have been making singular of plural and plural of singular. Now there are some mistakes in the plural form of the nouns. First thing that you have to do is spot the mistake and then correct it. Okay, you have to first spot means find the mistake. Where is the mistake and then you have to correct that mistake. Let's have a look at the first question. All the biscuits were eaten by the guests. Yes, the mistakes are there in the plural nouns. So how many plural nouns are there? Biscuits and guests. Two plural nouns. So there is some mistake in any one of these. Guess the mistake quickly and write down your answer. Don't try it. The complete sentence, only write the correct word for the incorrect word. Just write one word. Only one word out of these is incorrect. Just write the correct word in place of the incorrect word. Yes, hope you have found it. Biscuits, the spellings of biscuits is incorrect. Plural has been formed by adding 
es but that's not right we have to make a plural just by adding in s all the biscuits b i s c u i t s were eaten by the guests so uh, you were supposed to write only this word okay when you write your answer in the rough notebook next one is there are many heroes acting in the film now children a hint is already given to you that the mistake is there in the plural noun and there is only one plural noun here heroes that means the spellings of heroes is not correct so write on the correct spelling yes hope you are done very good let's see what is it h e r o e s we have to add e s to make a plural hope you have done it correctly next one rinky sails paper boats when it rains yes you also must be doing this sailing a paper boat so over here again you have to find a mistake spot a mistake in the plural form of the nouns yes very easy hope you have done it while i read it out it was easy what is the word what is the word plural noun yes boats boats is the incorrect spelling we have added an es while the correct spelling is b o a t s that's how we make the plural of boat next the children in my class are very naughty no no they are very nice i don't agree with this statement but no that's not the case i don't have to do that what i have to spot is an incorrect plural noun so how many plural nouns can i spot yes there is only one children's is children a correct word children's is children's a correct word but in fact is there any word that exists like children's no my dear children there is no such word in the dictionary this children because the plural of child is children so children is the correct word the children in my class are very naughty hope you have done it let's move on to the next topic and have a look at collective nouns children we know that collective noun refers to the name given to a group of people animals and things and hope you remember i told you to learn a list of collective nouns that is given in your grammar book i'm sure you would have done that by now so collective nouns can be used with the preposition of for example a gang of thieves yes we can see a gang of thieves over here market this is a plural noun thieves but we have to take care of the collective noun here okay then a group of friends a crate of apples so all of these are collective nouns then collective nouns are used for animals as well like a colony of bats a school of dolphins a bunch of ducks a flock of birds a brood of chickens an army of ants colony of bats a herd of elephants a litter of kittens an army of frogs a flock of sheep a hive of bees a litter of puppies a flock of sheep it is repeated doesn't matter okay hope you have lear uh, learned all these from your grammar book earlier only 
Let's have a look at the questions. Question number E says, Correct the errors in the use of collective nouns in the given sentences. Now children, collective nouns have been used incorrectly. So we have to correct the mistakes. Let's see. I carried a flight of cards for the picnic. So the collective noun over here is flight. Has that been used correctly? I don't think so. And I hope you agree with me. Collection of cards is called a... Yes, a pack of cards. And what is the collective noun? Flight. Flight is used for? Yes, birds. Flight of birds. But here the correct answer is... Pack of cards. So we should know. If flight word is used, what is it? I mean, uh, what is the collective noun? For which animal or thing it is used next is a swarm of ants attacked the termites ants remember we did two collective nouns for ants yes a none of swarm is not one of them the correct answer is a colony of ants another would be had it been and dash of ants. So we would have written an army of ants. So both of them are correct. Next verse. A band of monkeys destroyed the mango orchard. Band of monkeys? No, no. I have always heard of a band of musicians. So what is the correct collective noun for monkeys? Remember, very good, it is troop of monkeys. Let's come to the next one. My mother made a beautiful herd of pink pearls. Herd of pearls? I've always heard of a herd of buffaloes, of goats, but never heard of a herd of pearls. So, what is the correct collective noun for pearls? Yes, your mom must be having it. String. So, my mother made a beautiful string of pink pearls. I hope children, you were able to answer most of the questions correctly. So, with that, we come to the end of the revision assignment. Well done all of you. Yes, I know that actually you all did well. Happy learning. That's all for today. Thank you. And bye-bye.